Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, we're in here with our coffees. Yep. And oh, you got coffee over there somewhere. And uh, our dolls. Our what are those things called? Dawn. They're they're topper topper dolls. Everybody's calling them topper dawn, but they have different girls and guys. But you know, there's um Do some dawn is the main character. Somebody made a comment on a video. Um, I think yesterday about those are called pippa dolls have you in heard the, of that in the uk it's pippa is a different line but it's not the same as that mm -mm, okay no, okay no. well uh candace has been working hard on dolls and y'all are gonna see it's paying off already i worked uh, i wouldn't say hard i worked on stickers yesterday um that's kind of those didn't pay off yet but some other ones have sold yeah uh we had a great sales day yesterday. It we was did. really good. We did. I'm very happy. I'm um, not, you know, it wasn't like, I guess it was a lot of things. No, no, no. It was a big sales day. Um, I guess I'm looking at orders, but um, yeah. Yeah, we're good. And then, we, no, no, we're great. We had a great sales day. Yeah. Uh, actually, it, it, sales have been, since we've been back from vacation, we had, it, it's hard for me to really tell because we had, the, we had to recover from going on vacation, which we're, we're starting to do that now. I think we're about recovered uh but sales have been okay so but yesterday was ex excellent we ha actually had like a big home run fist pumper kind of sale yeah which those are great came in last night and um and then we had some other stuff so let's go ahead and uh quit talking about it and pull these orders all right the first order is going to be um five of the outfits in that little box there so um we have 11 okay we have uh, 10. Okay. 9. This was the order that prompted us to uh, do the buy one, ship for $4. Yep, somebody reached out to us. Any additional okay. ship for free. Okay. 8. Well, all right. So clear out this little bucket. And 4. I think they bought, I think they bought half of the... At the time they bought these, they bought half of the the uh, clothing items we had, uh, yeah. or more. So um, all of those sold together for eighty seven dollars and ninety five cents plus four dollars shipping. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That's a big chunk of the initial investment. We mm -hmm. spent two hundred on all of it. Yes. Um, we sold some racing stickers. Alrighty. A sixteen. Here we go. This little pack right here. Yep, fifteen for those. Alrighty. Uh, we have A1 also in, uh, we have two other lots. A1? Yeah. yeah, we'll go ahead and pull them all. Yeah, those are some VP stickers. Yeah, we have, well, we have several A1 lots. We have. There's a, we had four lots. Y'all can see we have quantity of that lot. So yeah, that's, and then B9. Know. B9? Yeah. Okay. So A1 sold for $11.69. And B9 sold for $13.49. Okay. All right, That's nice. all the racing stickers going out. All right, we sold we sold a dog jacket, um, Acadia Trail for twenty five dollars. Make sure it's the right size. That's a big, nice one, huh? Yeah. Where the heck is the tag? All right, I'm gonna check that while Lonnie puts the box up. It's not on this main tag. No. It's a good fit. Oh, here it is. Yep, mm. it's size large. Large. Yep. Okay. Yep. That was the good stuff. Yeah, if we didn't want to brand. deal with all that bulk, like we then then we bought. could have just bought the jackets and made out like really good. Yeah. You know. Although, I, like I said before, I don't think we would have gotten as good of a deal if we'd have bought only some of it. You know. Yeah. And next item is in the D and D drawer. It's an offshore drilling belt buckle. D and D. I like this one. I like. I love the colors. How bright it is. It's this one, right? With yeah, all the the enamel one. Yeah, yeah thirty that... thirty one dollars and forty nine cents for that. Yeah. CC ten. We sold a ten pack of blank diskettes. Floppy disk. CC ten. All right, yeah. Boy, these we've had these a little while. Ten dollars for those. Yeah, brand new sealed disc. We had an auction in last night for a skipper slash midge lot with the case. Three Charlie. Okay. It's a blue case. Ah. I guess you put it on this shelf because you knew it was going to be temporary storage, huh? Yeah. 
We don't want to put anything long, long tail in case we get a bunch of books there. $36 is what that went for. Okay. Were you happy with that? Yeah. I didn't think it would go too much more than that because there wasn't a ton involved in it, you know. Yeah. We saw a cookbook on Three Bravo uh, Envy Cooking, E-N-V-I-E. Three Bravo. These are alphabetized, which means I found it super quick. Envy Cooking in the Cajun Tradition. Yep, fifteen dollars for that. Well, we haven't sold to me cookbooks lately, so yeah, that was, that's good of, to see. Yeah, um, we have a hat going out. So a hat in the B box. It's a Napa racing hat. It's blue, like royal blue. Should be see a blue hat right here. So, yeah, yeah. This is it. Thirteen dollars and forty-nine cents. Okay. And then we have two more topper on um, going to the same person. Is it out of the same box? One again? of them is in there. Twelve. It's a little silver go-go outfit with silver thigh-high boots. Twelve. Yeah, that's definitely what that is. And a poodle. Yeah. That one's over 25. Okay. And then the other item is in pocket 73. It's the same outfit, but just the jacket. It's the other pocket 73. Yeah, it must be the other one. Okay, here we go. $10 for that one. Oh, okay, it's the same thing, just a jacket. Yep. That's what you just said. Okay, cool. All right, so that's everything except we have one big item going out. So um, Lonnie's going to get that stuff packed and then we'll show you the big, Do, don't the we big have... sale of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they have, I think we have, uh, don't we have something on Poshmark or Macari or something? Mm -hmm. No? Nope. Okay, all right, cool. I'll go ahead and get this stuff packed then. Okay, got all that stuff packed up. Uh, real quick, didn't take long at all. We have one more thing. Yeah, we sold a big nutcracker. It's the um, Father Time on 10 Charlie. That's a good one. All nutcrackers are good. I like I like him a lot. Yeah, no, he's cool. Let me be real careful. There we go. Man, I wish his, uh, well, his staff comes out, I'm sure. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But the clock... Or the pocket watch. No. They actually had this one is kind of rare. Mm. They actually had another one like the next year that was 2001 version, right? Yeah. And it was the same one, except he had a different a different staff with right. you know, 2001 or 99, one of the two. I, can't I think remember. it was 2001. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I, I just love his look. We ended up selling him for three hundred dollars, so no, super happy with that. That's not accurate. Oh. 270 right yeah okay <laughs> i saw that six is a uh, nine no it's it's all for two 270 this is a tall one so he may be he may be going ups oh that's interesting it's, you a, could, it's a wooden ball under there it's it's like a wooden feels like a dowel piece under the like his hands no it's it, oh it's not it's round flat top see oh hmm I wonder if maybe they even lathed it out of that same block of wood. They may have. For his head. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, because this is just like wood covered in fabric. I never right. actually, yeah. That's yeah. interesting. Yep. Actually, I have watched uh, videos of them making nutcrackers. It's kind of cool. Is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, good sale here. Big sale of the day. I'm going to go ahead and get this packed in. We'll see what else we get into. Uh, I know Candace is working on dolls. I'm, I'm working on the guys right now because I think that's where the big money is. Yeah. Um, so we'll see with that. Like I'm listing one right now for 55. So I'm looking forward to a good couple of days of sales of that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I, I'm, it's going to be kind of sad whenever you run out of it because it looked like so much. But I see you've only got a few dolls there. You've got him. I have two guy dolls over there. I have another oh, okay. one of him. Um, yeah, and then I, I have like some guy outfits I'm putting together. And I don't know why I have two of these pants, but only. And then one of this top goes to something else. So just I'm going to probably put those together. But okay. And then get back into the girl stuff, you know. 
Yeah, and I'm going to, I might get you to break off and help me make some sticker lots for me to work on this afternoon. I, I spotted something on the bottom of the unlisted shelf that we need to get listed. What's that? It's down over here. Okay. Like, this is the time to list it. Oh, the LSU Christmas thing. Yeah. Okay, I'll work on that too then. Yep. All right, I'll get that up. All right, I'll go get this guy packed. Okay, it's a good bit later. It's after lunch, and uh, packages are long gone. The carrier came and picked them up. She even brought us back some of our IKEA bags. Every now and then, they'll bring, they'll accumulate IKEA bags. And then they bring them all. And up. they bring them all back. Yeah. And we lose. There's a slow attrition. Like we do lose a few every now and then. But we've really got a couple. We've got a few that have got like a hole in it. But considering how much use they have, those things oh, are yeah. tough. Oh, they're great. Yeah. And the carriers love them too. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Uh, I am working on stickers again. You're gonna for, be finishing them up today, huh? Yeah, oh, I'm gonna finish. Yeah. I'm gonna finish. And I'm I'm being a little more, like I was gonna do this yesterday. I'm being a little smarter about how I do it. Instead of just doing like one batch at a time, like this time, I don't want to take all photos at the same time. But I did like D9 through D13, and I actually use this to mark off the photos. See, so like I zoom in on D12, and then all the photos after that up to D13 are D12 photos. And I just upload them all in small batches because the one thing I have to be careful of, I don't want like a thousand photos like this on the computer. But it's hard to tell where one ends and one begins. Right. Yeah. So I try and keep it like really simple. I'm trying to be very careful mm -hmm. because especially with these, people are going to be looking at the stickers and they're going to be like, ooh, those, ooh, those, those are kind of cool, but I really want that one. So if I mess this up and send the wrong stickers, Yep. They're not going to be happy. Now, so. when we first started listing these, I was when I was looking at how other people were selling them, a lot of people just do like a mystery grab bag, and you were mm -hmm. against that. What, tell us why. Because I, I never like mystery anything. I, I, I feel like, and, I, and actually, you know, I, I, uh, I'm not, I, may, I may or may not be right here, but I believe that eBay want you to tell people what they're buying right like yeah. I, I don't i think you're supposed to tell them what they're it's not supposed to be luck luck of the draw that's a little different yeah i know but, that they do they they don't allow like blind box no no thing. no so i don't understand what the difference between that and that those I, two things would be you know? i don't either although they do allow it. although at least in this case 100 stickers random 100 random stickers and they send you a hundred stickers. Well, at least you got a hundred stickers. Now you might not like the stickers you got, but no, I'm a big, I'm a believer in. I want to show them what they're getting. Oh yeah. That that's the way I've always run it. Yeah. I don't like mysteries, and you might get this, you know, or right. like I don't want to run. The, I just, I just that I think it's not unethical. It opens up for disappointment. And I also think it makes it harder to sell. Because people are not going to be as likely to buy it if they don't know what they're getting, in my opinion. I don't Probably know. Probably so, yeah. What, how likely would you be to buy just random? And, well, and I feel like if you're doing random mystery lots, you can't charge as much money as we're well, No, you can't. Absolutely. Yeah. So, we're, But you also don't do as much work. Yeah. Well, so we're maximizing our profit this way. Trying. Yeah. Trying. So... Yeah. Yeah, I'm up to, well, I just got to do this one. And as far as that goes, man, it is fast. I showed you all this yesterday. But I just go create similar. And then I remove all the photos. Upload photos. Move those to trash. Then I come down here. Cancel, select. D13s. And one more. And then, boom, waiting. It's going to zap them over here. Okay. All right. And then, open. It's uploading those. While it's doing that, I change that to a 13. I change this to a 13. And the reason I change the title as well as the custom skew, custom skew, that's always where we look to see where we're going to pull the item from when it sells. But I change the title because... 
Uh, there is a policy or a rule at eBay uh, about duplicate items or duplicate listings and listings that have the same exact title eBay will identify as duplicate listings. Now someone and, did tell me it has to be the same photo, but I have a feeling that it these photos are so similar on some of them that it may get flagged, you know. I'm not even sure if that's true or not. It yeah. may be. Yeah. It may be. I know I've had stuff pulled down in the past that was very similar with slight variations because it was two used things or whatever. Um, and they'll just pull them down and they'll tell you you're in violation of policy. And they treat it like eBay policy violations aren't good. Yeah. Put it that way. So I try and stay away from that. So that I do that just to make sure that all of the titles are unique. And the photos are uploaded, of course. This is changed. That's listed. And this is marked off. And now I'm going to go. I think I only have five more. Five more lots and I'll be done. Not too much later. I finished all the stickers, y'all. Uh, well, we do have, we have a few odds and ends in here. I think Candace, Candace was thinking that might want to list separately or something. Or make a lot of those. Just, you know, it's, yeah. It's specialized stuff. See, like the Z71, like, uh, you know what you call that. I mean, it's a sticker, but it's like, I don't know, it's kind of got some 3D properties to it. But yeah, kind of just like a car decal. Yeah, just some random stuff. It's not much though, and uh, I don't even. We, we may, I, you know what? I probably just want to do a lot of that or something. I don't know. Yeah. At this point, I just want to be done with that. I know. Um, this we paid. Well, we paid twenty dollars for the stickers. I would say. Yeah. Because we bought that day. We bought like random stuff. We bought like um, the rug. We bought a rug that, that actually sold, a Chris Craft rug. That sold a little while ago. That's going to go out tomorrow. We'll talk about that. Uh, well, it's going to be in the same video. So, you know, we got an offer for that for 45 And I'm like, or actually, I sent an offer for 45 for that. And I was talking to Candace. It's like, we bought a bunch of stuff there. And I th we paid 40 for all of it. Yeah. So that rug pays for it. Right. So, but we did kind we of fact. Sold stickers too. So. Yeah, stickers have sold too. So I mean, we we've, we've done really well. Basically, we sold, we bought the stickers for about twenty dollars for all of them. Yeah. That's how you could look at it. And um, yeah, I've got through listing, and we're at fifteen hundred and seventy dollars in listings, uh, with hundreds of dollars already sold. So that has been a huge win. Now Candace's thing. With these dolls, with the. Show uh, them my total so far. Yeah, Topper Dawn dolls. She still have quite a few left. I just spent today. I've been working on all the guys and their mm -hmm. clothing, and I'm done with them. That's where a lot of the money's coming in too. Um. Yeah, you can see. Um, it started here. Um, yep. That's all. Like from there down is the guy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and we've we've sold. There's been a ton of interest in that. We've sold several today. Uh huh and i'm sure we're going to continue to sell it like yeah. it's awesome yeah uh 88601 so far and so. the 01 comes in um this 6001 is that auction we started at 60. it's just to remind us it's a placeholder to go back and update that when the auction ends right so yep so yeah i'm looking you're definitely going to be over a thousand dollars oh yeah because i've still got five dolls i haven't listed plus all this clothing you know? honestly when you pay when you pay two hundred dollars like that you can't for a lot of like where it's going to be a lot of research work mm -hmm. and a bunch of listings it's not going to be one listing you really want to be i wouldn't want want you to be any less than like seven hundred dollars or so yeah we've talked about this before the 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 more value your stuff is um the lower your times profit can right. be because the the numbers are just getting the the dollar numbers are getting bigger does that right. make sense no no it does yeah, it's, it's just like are you following me yeah yeah it's just like paying a dollar for something that you could sell for 10 may not that'd be something we'll walk by that's sometimes not comparable as to buying something for 10 that sells for 100 right even yeah. though it's a 10x multiplier so yeah. Yeah. a lot a lot of times people speak in terms of you know, I got to double my money or quadruple my money or quintuple my money or whatever. And like, I, it just doesn't, 
real world i don't think that really works right because <laughs> ultimately it's like how much money can you make in a day or a week or a month or like, a year let's say this stuff ends up being worth a thousand well you know that would you want to put all this work into something that's worth two dollars and you get ten dollars <laughs> right as opposed to two hundred and a thousand so yeah but um yeah so i would say for to spend two hundred some risk involved because you didn't like it was like i mean i had pictures and she sent me more detailed pictures but still we've had bad surprises from stuff like right. that before you never know what's so there happen. there is definitely a risk yeah. and to factor in that risk and sometimes things go wrong this time they went right yeah like they went it was better than you thought mm -hmm. but um yeah i think i think a thousand like a 5x multiplier when you have that many pieces yeah i think I, I, it may end up being higher I, I don't know. I, yeah, I you've got some, a lot. Some special outfits or something. I'm not sure. It, I, it's probably going to end up being around 1200 or so. I hope so. Yeah. All right. Well, I am. We put in really. We put in some great work the past couple of days on this. Like we've been set up well too, though. We've had when when we have the stuff to list. Right. The good stuff to list. We list and we work great. Yeah, it's it's a lot easier to to work whenever you have good stuff. Yeah and. <laughs> Hopefully, why do you have a nutcracker holding an American flag on your desk? Are you keeping that one? Well, I don't know. He's missing whatever he's supposed to be holding. I had American flag, so there, okay. there you go. Okay, well, guess what? I'm probably going to be listing that pretty soon. Really? Unless you want to keep it. I don't know. Okay, we'll talk about like it later. It. Gotta nail stuff down around here, y'all. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of looking at the top of that thing. <laughs> no. Might go sourcing. That's off limits. Okay, so um, hopefully we're going to sales in the morning. So we'll let y'all know. Okay, it is nighttime, and we're assuming we're going to hit some garage sales in the morning. We don't know yet. Yep, so in preparation, we're going to go ahead and pull orders, and Lonnie's going to pack what we have to go out tomorrow, what's already come in. So... We can ship them out tomorrow. <laughs> I think they got that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First item is in pocket 38. Okay. It is a briefcase and hat. Yeah, that's a uh, old captain or pilot guy or whatever. Yeah. Keep calling him captain. Captain. All right. Here we go. And you said that, like, the briefcase had issues, right? Yes. And the hat is missing the emblem on the front. Oh, okay. So they both had issues. Yes what did we get $25 that's a lot for things with issues yeah usually the hat will go for at least that much by itself so uh, okay yeah and then um on Bob in Boba Fett drawer we saw a Gary doll with his blue groovy gear outfit is it the blue pants yes and the trench coat looking top yes or actually that looks like maybe uh tattoo you know the the Clothes they wore on Tatooine in oh, Star yeah. Wars. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's all for 60 Actually, it looks like he's wearing his uh, cute little lime pajamas or whatever. I know. It is. <laughs> so groovy. Yep, 60 for him. Wow, that's good. Um, We sold that Chris Craft rug onto Alpha. Yeah. Yep, we, uh, we actually told him about it just a few minutes ago on the video. Yeah. So, But yeah, we're going to actually pull it now. Yeah, it's this, uh, it's a used. I don't know what you're talking about, like, a few minutes ago, I was at a Girl Scout meeting. No, I meant on, <laughs> yeah, you gotta think we're making a video here. I know. There we go. 45 for that. Yeah. Got this, the same place we got all those racing stickers. Yep, that's right. Pocket 92, we sold some topper shoes. 92? Yeah, some little brown loafers. Those are brown loafers. Who, okay. Yep. Twenty dollars for those. No, I don't believe that. Yeah. Somebody, no, you're. There, there's a hidden camera somewhere. This is a not, gag. They're not even damaged. <laughs> oh man. Okay. All right, Ooh. we have some stickers. You ready? Yeah, I actually have my sticker box right here. C four. All right. B one. C four. Uh -huh. All right. This isn't where this is going to live, by the way, but that's just where it is right this second. All right, C4. These are some I listed yesterday. 15 for those. Okay. And B1. B1. Where is that going to be? Oh, it's going to be over here. It should be right by the cardboard, yeah. Okay. B13. I added another piece of cardboard. 
B1 should be right here. And, All right, 15 yeah. for that one. Okay, nice. All right, that's what we have going out. That's so it? Far. That's it. Oh, I thought we had more than that. Okay, no, cool. I don't think so. All right, yeah. good. No, no, I don't want more yet. <laughs> in the morning, we'll take more. Okay. Uh, let me get this stuff packed, and we'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, not going to bother Candace with this one, because she's over there planning the route. Or looking at dull pineapple. <laughs> Whip. What, what are you looking at? This is a neighborhood sale on Saturday, but they're having food trucks at it. Look at this neighborhood sale. Okay. And they're having food trucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was talking about how much, how hard you were working over there. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got that stuff packed. While I was packing that, we made a really nice sale. So I'm going to pull it now. We sold a nutcracker with a bird. This little chubby guy. He's my favorite one. Little chubby cracker with a bird. Yeah, the falconer. Yeah, check it out. Look, the bird is cool too. Yep. And this hand is right here, of course. It like attaches there. So that guy sold for $124.99 plus shipping on top. I'll get him packed and we will see y'all with a bunch of goodies hopefully in the morning. Good morning, everyone. We are back for day two. Good morning, Candace. Good morning. Oh, it's not. It's not morning. It's afternoon because we were out a little while. And I think we did so good finding stuff this morning that we celebrated and went to lunch. Yeah, we went to, uh, it was almost 11 o'clock. Uh, we went and got some pho. We said, pho it. Let's pho it. I didn't pho it. <laughs> I did. I, I had a sandwich. I pho and she sandwiched. <laughs> <laughs> Are those verbs? Um, no, we're, 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 go ahead. We went to nine sales this morning and, uh, first few hours were bad, very bad, like pretty much non-existent and we were down and then the end just, we ended on a great note and we're excited to show you what we found. Yeah. Uh, Candace found, Candace found what is probably our best single best item find ever i think yeah single item single item mm -hmm. now we 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 bought lots of things before and made a lot more money right but single item this might i think this is it i think this is it and it does, that doesn't require a, a ton yeah because we're, we're not like big time uh sellers you know where we're always selling no. like thousands of dollars worth of stuff no that's like, not us like normal like whenever we make a 200 dollars sale i'm like okay that's a big sale right you know like 500 is like really big like not too long ago we sold that drum a drum machine for like what 650 or something yeah, yeah. and like that's big for us that was huge that's yeah. 650 is a huge sale yeah like i can think back about all of the sales that were over like six seven hundred dollars in the past handful and there's not that many of them yeah so but today candace bought the single item which we're going to show y'all at the end of course <laughs> uh, as you do um candace bought the single item and then i found a score that on pretty much every other day we've gone out in our lives would have been the score score of the day um so we found we're good we, we, yeah. we like it was fun yeah we had a we had a good time so yeah. um let's get started um with some of the other stuff yeah this is the stuff we found before some of the stuff that's questionable yeah and and look <laughs> this this reinforces that when you're out there and you're not finding stuff it's gonna be tempting to just quit. The next sale can make your the next month, sale can make your month or I make mean, your week or month or yeah, day or whatever. You never know. Yeah. And that's what happened with us. We just kept on plugging, kept on grinding. Yeah. These I don't know. Um, I do. I, I think I would always buy this. Lonnie just looked them up, and um, probably any kind of like um, well-known um, whiskey or hard alcohol brand and you get yeah. some new product like this it's probably going to be decent yeah i think um these are button down shirts um they're new we have four of them for gem beam and we paid two dollars each for them and lonnie did just look them up looks like we can probably get 20 to 30 a piece yeah so, somewhere in there and that's the, not bad the cool thing is we have we have a large one large and three medium so yeah. it's just going to be two listings and it's 
when I picked them up, I thought they were polo shirts, which I think would probably be better. Maybe. I Maybe. Know. I don't know. But so I was, when we really started looking at them, I'm like, oh, those are button downs. Yep. Um, this glove we here. We paid $2 a piece for those, by the yes, way. Yes, $2 a piece. This glove here is a Rawlings Player Series. We paid um, $2 for it. Yeah, we got that the and the two hats at the same sale. For $6, so we'll say two each. Those hats are kind of cool. They are. Th this is probably like a $15 glove here. These uh, are both Ford Mustang, like they're Ford branded. There's Ford on there, and then this one says Mustang. So those are something different. Uh, any kind of any kind of thing that um guys are passionate about like their car you can't go wrong car with boat yeah lawnmower motorcycles yeah just, fishing stuff yeah you can't go wrong picking that Not exactly stuff up. yeah um this is a nordic wear pan two dollars for that it's uh just a bro it's a butt pan but it's shaped like a rose it's a butt a rose butt rose butt <laughs> a rose butt pan <laughs> <laughs> now these are cool these are very cool I only paid five dollars for the pair they have such a cool look to them um they're a brand called bantam and we were just looking we couldn't find we went to terra peak like back two years and didn't yep. find any in this color most of them are going to be greens and browns like that avocado green like yeah like this this color right here yeah. is that puke green that, like all the appliances and stuff right um back in the 70s a few blues and black but no reds none like this check these out look, look at how the clean inside. yeah look at that and those then are awesome the big one here if look right here they also lock and we have the keys we do have we have a key a key it's inside of this one and i'm sure that key right probably here. fits both pieces yeah i think they're universal because we saw somebody actually sold just keys yeah yeah Look at that. It's got a cool little retro look, look to it. And look at the condition. Like these straps. They've been used, but they're no, not. No, but they could totally be cracked up and broken, and they're right, just not. Right, this is going to say this patent leather type stuff. Yeah. Look, Japan. Made in Japan. Made in Japan. Yeah. That is cool. The condition is really nice. I was telling Lonnie, I don't know if y'all remember, we had that orange train case a few weeks ago. Man, somebody would be styling if they had that train case and, and, that. and traveling around with this. Those are cool, Candace. Man, so cool. Candace is, Candace is thinking like 50 on those. I think you need to go a little higher than that. I those. was thinking 50 based on comps, but the fact that we couldn't find this color. And this so. color is better than the other colors. It is. It's a nice looking set. Yeah. I'm thinking you should start at 60. And maybe I end up sending an offer or something right. and we Just end up getting... some wiggle room to work. Right. Um, cookbooks. This one we bought separate from these at a different sale. They want they had all their books. They were five dollars each, but we knew to pick this. You always pick up Roger Roger's, cookbook. Yeah. I hate to even say that, but Yeah, it's probably worth like thirty to thirty five in this condition. But they sell fast. Yes. <laughs> um, this is the light version. There's like there's the regular and then there's like some holiday ones yeah. and they're just different versions. This is the light version. For those of y'all that don't know, uh Roger he was a Vernon Roger was a uh, hmm. newscaster. Newscat local newscaster. Yeah. He did like a cooking thing, like a cooking segment, very popular. Yeah. And it was really sad. He uh yeah, if y'all if y'all want to see like he's no longer living. If y'all want to know more about him for some reason, I don't know why you would. Yeah. But yeah. If anyways, if you like to look at things and research, yeah. that's local interest. I should be yeah. quiet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, these cookbooks were two dollars each. Um, those are I found those. Yeah, well, I found they, all these. This is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Winston Salem. Yep. And then this is um, cooking with Louisiana Baptist. Yeah, uh, Baton Rouge. Okay, that's cool. And then this is we've had. I don't know, didn't we have one or two before? We've sold two. We've sold these a couple of times. Yeah, Telephone Pioneers of America. This is the Louisiana chapter. Yeah, when when I was at the phone company, they have a that one of the central offices I worked out of, you know that where you know where they have all the switching equipment mm -hmm. and stuff, right? One of them that I worked out of off of Flannery Road. It's called you know when you cross over Florida Boulevard and on the left there. Yeah more local interest I'm, I'm very sorry y'all i'll stop doing this after this one i promise <laughs> um there's a there's a park there in a central office in front mm -hmm. and there's a big park in the back and it's called pioneer park yeah we went on a picnic there 
Oh, yeah. When you were working for the phone company. Oh, man, I forgot. That was so long ago. I went, we were dating. Yeah. I went and picked up some pizzas, and I had a nice little picnic lunch no. with Lonnie and his co-worker. No, that was a different park. Was it? Yep. That's the park where they have the big mm -hmm. hill things. That's Boxite Hill. The old Boxite Hills from World War II. Now, let me tell y'all where that one is. No, I'll tell, I'll tell, I'll tell Candace <laughs> okay, where that well, is. Okay, well, I had the wrong park, but yeah, that's what we did. You're talking about the one off of Sherwood Forest. North Sherwood Force. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anyway, sorry, y'all. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. These were 50 cents each. Um, he's kind of a little dirty I was looking at, but um, like... You know you know what like, I remember when we first started dating? One oh more gosh, thing. One right more local story. When we first started dating, I don't remember why. I was in my, my Bell South. It was called Bell South at the time, not AT&T. I was in my Bell South van. I was out doing a job. And I was meeting your mother for some reason. Oh, I didn't know about this. It was I, She was dropping something off or something. And I know I ran into her. No, I, she was just out. And I happened to run into her. And I was nervous because we, like, we were pretty f new dating. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so anyway, I got out of the van and I was so nervous. I got out of the van. I left the the van was still in gear. <laughs> and I started talking to your mother and uh she pointed behind me and I looked back and the van was slowly you rolling were off. About that. <laughs> <laughs> Ask her. Ask her tonight when you see her. Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> the van started rolling rolling off. I'm like, oh she... I'm just curious how you were driving and happened to run into her. Like, did you literally run into no, her? No, I think she was eating um Man, I'm so sorry, y'all. We'll stop. We'll, we'll get back on track. I think she was eating um, the Italian place over there. Uh, man. Okay, we've bored them enough. Okay, let's go. Okay, this little rabbit. Okay, so these were in a bin, 50 cents, so I dug through there. I said, he has an interesting look to him. It reminds me of something. And why does he have those things up there? The little alien looking. I'm not really sure. Anyway, he is Xavier Roberts, same person who makes Cabbage Patch. Okay. He's got a weird shaped little body too. He's kind of like looks a, like a, a he, insect. Yeah, he's like a bumblebee slash rabbit, oh, like a hybrid. A bumble rabbit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and he's got a pouch like a kangaroo. What? <laughs> he's everything. I don't know what's going on. What with kind this. of animal is that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is two little um, made in Japan, like little carnival prize mm -hmm. toys. I just thought they had a cool little look to them. And then this is a Mardi Gras throw from Crew of Mystique. Okay. So, 50 cents for those. So, most of this is the stuff we found before we've gotten to our good scores. Yes. Um, so, yeah. We're going we're gonna to put this away and be right back. All right. This next thing, a little speculative. <laughs> uh, could be pretty good, though. We paid $3 for it. We could pass it. it up for $3. No. Um, if you see this tag here, this is like um, from the... The, the state government auctions. Right. Like state, Sur state property surplus. I used auctions. to actually, um, back this state surplus auction thing, long time ago, I was actually working, going to school, and then I was reselling uh, part time. Mm -hmm. And I would go buy stuff there computers. I like would buy computer pallets of computers. Pallets, pallets of computers. Yeah. And, uh, that was a thing for me for a while. That was back in... That was over 20 years ago. Yeah. At this point. But yeah, this thing is $3. It's a Chris Clean Sanitary CPR Mannequin. Look how they spell mannequin. Well, they spelled it just like on the garage sale tag. No. They use a C instead of a K. Uh, they misspelled the misspelling. <laughs> All right. So Here yeah, he is. there it is. He looks like he's in pretty good condition. Yeah. He's got, well, I'll see. This is it. He, we do have a lot of like. Uh, these are these are you put that over there. They're I guess they're like kind of disposable. They're sealed. Yeah. And then um, these. Here, give me a sugar. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these go on over that. Now they have they have smaller ones of this. Candace, that would be a great Halloween costume, wouldn't it? If you had like a mask that looked like one of these. Uh, these CPR dummy faces. They probably make it. <laughs> yeah, so it's got like 
These bags are sealed. Well, not that one. The, these go into the uh, chest cavity or something? No, it goes over the mouth. So oh, okay. I got I you. I think that's what they are. So, yeah. So No, you don't. No, that is the, uh, that's the lungs. See? Oh. So okay. you shove that down their mouth. To catch the air. Right. So what I'm thinking of now, um, I have one, I have this in my little CPR thing. Chris Clean, that's an airhead bag. Airhead. <laughs> they actually make some small things that you can put over um, whenever you're given CPR. Right. To little help, shields or whatever. Yeah, help protect yourself from like vomit and stuff. Right. <laughs> it's gross. So yeah. they do have some of these listed for like 100 or a little more. Um, we may end up having to sell this thing for 80 bucks or so. Obviously, the biggest expense with this is not the $3. Things. It's going to be just the time I put into packing it whenever it sells. Yeah, it's a monster. How do, I mean, how do I pass it up, though? I couldn't. And then one of the older ladies, there was older people running the garage sale. And it was after she paid. After I paid, and she, she goes, what did she say? She said, what? She said, oh, there's something in there? Oh, yeah, because you said it was heavy or something. She goes, there's something in there? And we're like, yeah, it's a CPR mannequin. She's like, what? I thought it was just a suitcase. $3? We had already, we had already paid. And I was, but whoever priced it, they broke me. Yeah, look, off. it says mannequin for CPR, $3. Yeah, it's not like whoever priced it. So, so she was like kind of talking. I was like, uh... Candace, we own this because we paid for it. It's in my hand. We're still on there. But we're still in the driveway. Let's start walking out of here, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What do you what do you say, kid? Yeah. Let's go. So we we skedaddled. Not that it's like, may I? I don't know. I may. I may. If they wanted it back. We probably wouldn't have fought them for it. <laughs> I, I didn't know what it was worth at that point. Yeah. Though. It, I, it could have been worth two, three hundred dollars. I had no clue. Yeah. But it's not. Yeah. Okay. So like I told y'all, uh, Candace had the big find of the day, but Lonnie came in a. A close not a eh, somewhat close second i was still i lost by a big actually i didn't lose no i mean mine's kind of up in the air it's good but we're not quite sure yet on the price right so let me tell you before i show it um there was all this stuff was in one spot and she wanted a hundred bucks for everything that's on the bench plus one more thing right so this is the big part of this of course is the toner yes these are all sealed uh two of them have names written on them i could probably get that off with either alcohol well you'll have a oh you know what without the name oh yeah, yeah 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 so the 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 awesome thing about these is this as far as toner goes these are some of your higher higher value toners um they're getting 125 a piece for these free ship um, and then I even found a comp from, well, hell, this is yesterday. For these uh, four right here. Somebody got 525 plus shipping. Yeah, for the di four different ones. Just for the four. Yeah. And like Candace said, I can actually swap this one to here. Mm -hmm. Just in case it leaves like, you know. Yeah. But yeah, look, they're all still factory sealed. And uh, yeah, the, what a score. Yeah. I saw those and I'm like... I had the same feeling Candace had later. <laughs> well, I was I not. Okay, not, so so it had that and yep. this thing here, which is a Fujit, Fujitsu scan snap. Yeah, I think it's a scan IX five hundred. These go for over a hundred dollars plus shipping. I've seen some of them that go for like a hundred and fifty or so. Um, yeah, we've got all the paperwork. Got in all the paperwork. And that look like the software. Power supply. The uh, disc is in there too. Two, well, there's a few discs in there. Yeah. So, oh, and, and even the USB cable. Yeah. And then also just some briefcases that were in there with the. Those are laptop bags. Yeah. But they're official. Uh, like Dell. They're all official Dell bags. Yeah. So, these actually have five dollar price tags on that them. might have came off something i was no they were on those bags on yeah so okay so it was all this from... plus plus it was a hundred dollars for all that stuff on the bench plus a printer a big printer it was a huge printer that i did not want to mess with it probably is worth a bunch a bunch of money mm -hmm. and she's i was looking at it, i'm like hmm and she said 90 and I said, how about 80 and you keep the printer and you could sell the printer to somebody else. Yep. And I'll take everything else. And she's like, well, I really wanted to keep that together. And I was like, 
I did not want to mess with the I predator. Know, it was big. I just don't. Yeah. I just don't. So I so she agreed. So we ended up getting all this stuff for eighty. Yeah. And this thing will pay for everything, and then some, or even just one, one of these box, one yeah. toner box will pay for all of it too. Yeah. So uh, that was my big score of the day. But Candace. Actually, I would say Candace had to outdo me, but I bought mine after after, her, yeah. after Candace's. He was chasing my tail. I was. I've been chasing that tail for 20-something <laughs> years now. <laughs> All right, you want to show your stuff now? Yep. Okay, so I went... I'll let Candace talk after this, but I went into the room where Candace was at, and she just had like this sh this state of shock look on her face and she didn't say anything to me she just handed me her phone <laughs> and i'm like okay cool do you have one of these <laughs> go ahead tell your story so okay so of course i walk up and you know pyrex you see it everywhere but i've never seen this before and i said you know i'm like that looks special look at that cradle it's got such a cool look to it so I pulled out my phone and I popped the Google Lens and um, it pulled it right up to an eBay listing and I was like, holy, sh <laughs> my heart just started pounding. I've never had this reaction when I found something out in the wild. Like I got that adrenaline rush, like, you know, like when you're driving and somebody like almost hits you or pulls up. Right. Like, you just go, like, weak, and that, you know, that's how I felt. It was so weird. Oh, that this garage sale find made her weak in the knees. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm thinking of titles right now. <laughs> so, yeah, um, this is a promotional Pyrex item. Um, people have nicknamed it the UFO um, for obvious reasons. So, um, let's go and show them Terapeak what kind of prices I saw whenever I did Google Lens. Okay, here's Terapeak. Yeah. So you'll see here, this is a recent one. It had it had the box with it. It was in great condition. They got $1,200. The $700 one doesn't even have the correct lid. Right. It just has a glass lid. Yep. We've got $900, $1,350. That's not it. Um, somebody, just a little cradle underneath, got $400. Yep. $1,300. I'm trying to scroll. It's not working. $1,300, $1,400, $1,400. fifty dollars with the incorrect lid. So you can see why I was like, oh my gosh. Check out the price tag on it. Can yep. you believe that? So did you talk them down to 10? <laughs> no, I almost <laughs> offered them 20 <laughs> to make sure they didn't change their mind. <laughs> now we do have some um, little condition issues. I think this is the- That's deep. just dirt. But we do have like a little dent there. There's a ding there. Yeah. And there's some little minor scuffs. Um, right. I don't know if it's gonna clean up good or not. We'll see. And then underneath there is also. Um, I do have, they actually use this dish. You, there's some baked on like grease stuff and some people take um, easy off oven cleaner and they spray their Pyrex down and then you put it in a like a garbage bag overnight for the fumes to sit. Man, I would be terrified to do that. Are you sure that's gonna work? What if you come back in the morning and then you open up the bag and it's just like a pile of Pyrex powder. I know. <laughs> and you're like, oh, no! I'm gonna try just some <laughs> traditional cleaning and then make it, I probably won't do anything drastic. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Um, Yeah, but there's like little scuffs inside that that would get out. It's not bad though. No. And then the paint is pretty good. It's still got its luster. Um, whenever whenever Pyrex loses its shine, that means somebody's been putting it in the dishwasher. Mm. Yeah, uh, but I do have like there is scuffs on it that will should come off. There's like like some of the some of these marks here. I just rubbed it at, at some it earlier off. with my finger and mm. it, and it came off. And so then, it really needs just a clean. If you, first of if all, if you hold Pyrex, ah. up light, that's where you can see where your paint loss is. Gotcha. See okay. That? Yeah. So that whenever you're trying to value. Like holding it down here, you couldn't see that. So we should probably hold it up to the light for the listing, huh? Yeah, you always want to take pictures of good Pyrex with light behind it. So Don't they, drop that, please. Yeah, so they can see uh, what paint is missing. Okay. And then our cradle itself does have some um, issues. It, it's in good, I wouldn't say issues. It's in great condition. It does, though. Like some of the gold is missing right it, here. I, I know it does, but I've, it there's... It still looks great displayed. There's some know? that are way worse than yeah, that one. Yeah, there is. So this is, you're supposed to put a can of Sterno in there, And right? there is a little plate that sits over here that we're missing. 
but from what I saw from souls, it doesn't affect soul because people aren't using them, you know, right. and it doesn't show. So somewhere around a grand, right? Um, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, somewhere between 800 to a thousand, depending on how good I can get it cleaned up. And if this ends up looking a little shiny once I clean it up, you know, yeah. so I'm even just holding it. I can see like there's a little dent in this rim here. Just little things like that. You have to make sure you disclose every little imperfection like that because Pyrex collectors are picky. Yep. They want to know every little thing wrong. I don't blame them. For that kind of money, I'd want to know everything oh, wrong yeah, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so, yeah, y'all, I mean, like I said, my adrenaline started going, and I just, I really wasn't finished looking. Like, there was some more... I glanced at the kitchen. There was more Pyrex and stuff in there, but nothing caught my eye. I just wanted to get this and get out of there, honestly, before they somebody like walked, got curious or somebody walked in and was like, "Wow, you know, or something like." Whoa, you have one of those? You found the Holy Grail or something like that? Right, exactly. So we just we paid and we left, and still when we got out to the car, I was like, I was like shaking, y'all. Literally, I was shaking inside. <laughs> I've never ever experienced that um whenever i found something and um it was so cool <laughs> it was fun huh yeah it was it was oh god i see people find stuff like this all the time and i'm like we don't have this stuff down here we, yeah we got lucky yeah we got so, yeah. and plus you knew to i would say we got lucky the thing had to be there but then candace had to identify that thing is being worth picking up so yeah. that's awesome candace yeah i'm excited about it yeah i am too i'm excited about my toner i know we so, had, so you can see while we're excited, we both had a really big find today. Never happened. And we only spent, we spent like a hundred and. It was it one hundred and thirty-two? One hundred and thirty-two dollars yep. on everything. Yeah. And we probably we probably got a couple of. One of your boxes of toner almost paid for the whole. Probably yeah, we probably have close to a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff here. Yeah. So it was a man, this is one of the best Fridays we've had in a long, long time. This is how Fridays Maybe, used, used to be. Uh, they didn't used to be quite this good, though. We would have like more volume, but we wouldn't have the heavy hitters. Right. So, yeah, man, this was fun. We yeah. needed that. Yeah. We needed that. Um, we are going to be going out tomorrow morning. Hopefully, we can find some more goodies. They probably won't be quite this good. Or maybe better. Might be, might be, yeah, might do it. You never know. Yeah, so we're going to be going out tomorrow, and then Sunday morning, there are some estate sales, so... Um, I'm hoping we'll pick up enough between both days to have a video full of haul for y'all. I hope so too. Yeah. I hope so too. But we're going to end this one right here. We're about to have some fun. I'm going to list. I'm probably going to do a set of four toner like like we saw there. And then the other two I'll sell individually. Mm -hmm. And uh, Candace is going to, I guess you're going to probably get back on your dolls. Huh? Yeah, I probably should just go ahead and finish it up. I think you up, should. Especially since we have that um, buy one at four right. dollars ship, get any free. I need to just go ahead and get them You've all. got people looking and buying right now. so. Um, what I have left are, um, they, like these dolls have major issues. L look at their faces, y'all. They look like they're turning into zombies. Yeah, and then her, somebody like tried to pull her, her scalper or something. But, yeah. So I think I'm going to do a lot because people do... Um, like with the Monster High, they do customs with these. So I think I'm gonna lot them up and just, you know, sell them as is. And then I still have quite a few outfits and then I'll be done with that. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, uh, that is gonna be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching and we'll see y'all again very soon. Bye y'all. Bye.